Dear Kevin, by order of the traitors, you've been murdered. You made it really far. I'm sorry to have to see you go. That night, did you have any inkling that it was your time to go? Yeah, I did, actually. Uh, I I, I kind of knew it for a couple reasons. One, I didn't feel totally immune to the, the game, the shield. Although I didn't put together in my head that I was the only one in the house. So, of course, I didn't have a shield. I actually didn't think of that. Um, and then secondly, the votes uh, were swaying towards poverty. And I think I put a target on my back by voting with Phaedra with the group. Um, and that that I had a really bad feeling of. And it I didn't really know how to say it at the time. But looking back, that's exactly how I was feeling. So you open that letter, you see that you've been murdered. Who do you think sent that letter to you? <laughs> At one point, I'm like, whoa, they didn't spell it Kelvin. So it definitely wasn't Phaedra, you know, like there's no way it was her. <laughs> Obviously it was, but um, yeah, that letter was pretty crazy, man. I had no idea that uh, I was going to get actually murdered because at one point you're like, I think it's coming. Oh, no, I'm getting saved. I'm getting recruited. You know, that's what goes through your head. And then you open it. You're like, oh, nope. <laughs> So you weren't totally sure who sent you that letter. One of your last scenes in the game before everyone went to bed is you're talking to MJ and you're like, I think I might have some suspicions on Peter now, even though he's been my close ally. When you left the game, how much did you trust Peter? You know, this is something that um, confused me about the game because I thought that once you get recruited, that you have to be either recruited as a traitor or you're, you get murdered. Um, very much, like I thought it was an ultimatum. Okay. Right. Um, so the fact that he was always around bothered me a little bit. So I'm like, that, that seems like it's against that's not the rules, like I thought, you know. Um, and so that was weird. So then when Par he switched to, from, to Parvati and saying, I don't think she's a traitor, that threw me off. Um, because I know I, I had a private conversation with Peter, too. This wasn't even public, like on a round table. And he's like, no, I don't believe Parvati is a traitor. It's like, that's weird. You know what I mean? Like, what? Like, only, like Peter, it's me. You know what I mean? Like, it's not in front of people. So at the round table, it didn't surprise me too much when he said it. But like, when he told me in private, it really shocked me. Because um, I thought I was in his group. So yeah, like, that was really my suspicion. You know, it, was, it wasn't just out of nowhere, if that, if that makes sense, you know? This is the first episode that you've got to see that you weren't a part of. And it ended with this very dramatic round table with a very heated vote. Um, with everything going on in your mind, the suspicions of Peter, but also you had already voted Phaedra. Where do you think your vote would have landed if you were at that round table? Oh, I would have definitely voted Phaedra. As you're seeing Peter and Phaedra's arguments for why they're faithful, who do, yeah. who do you think did a good job making their case? The one thing that I always told Peter is like, Peter, you get really red. When you're when you're at these round tables but you know the thing about phage is she's cool just collected you know it doesn't change much in her face except for a twitch once in a while but like other than that it's like she's very like her arguments man like there's a reason why she's a lawyer you know um pilot pete doesn't have to like argue with anybody on the plane you know or win arguments you know she he just needs to get people landed safely um, and Peter, trust me, he held his ground, but definitely Phaedra killed it whenever anybody went against her. And that was that was a game changer once she started doing that, because I realized that oh, even though people might think she is, they don't know how to tell her without getting their butt handed back to them. As you're able to watch this all back, um, what are your biggest takeaways seeing yourself play this game? And are there, are there any things you would have changed if you could go back? Yeah, I thought it was a lot funnier than I, you know what I mean? It's like, you, there wasn't room for personality, if that makes sense at this, unless it was at the round table or you're a traitor. Like, I think I might have decided to be a traitor next time, just because like, it's not easier, I don't think. It's just that I think I would have had more time for people to get to know me a little bit better. Um, my strategy, uh, like going back, reflecting, I'm just like, wow, man, like, I didn't realize... I, I had a better poker face than I thought because sometimes when I watch back, I'm like, whoa, that does not show what I really felt. You know what I mean? Like, um, I was really trying to stay kind of like Phaedra a little bit. Like, 
laid back, collected, cooler, you know what I mean? And I think it's sometimes it didn't show it. Um, and sometimes when like, you know, when you get murdered, I, I mean, I was pretty heartbroken. Like it really did feel like you're going to a death sentence, you know, um, might've made it a little bit more fun, but like, I couldn't help but to feel like I'm really going towards my death, you know? You were a part of, uh, Peter's Alliance. You guys all were brought together. Uh, what was it about each other that you really trusted each other or saw allies in? Uh, it's funny, funny outtake, but it's really not actually, uh, he, he kept swearing on his dead dog. And I was like, dude, you gotta be really sick to be doing this or you're telling the truth, you know? Um, and so when he was talking about his dog a lot, uh, we really connected on a lot of different ways. I was like, okay, like I'm in, let's see how this voting against each other thing works. It actually worked a lot longer than people think. Um, even though people thought it was dumb, it, it saved us. I thought it was funny. Yeah, well, he saved us for a couple banishments, if that makes sense. So it yeah. really helped. One of the comments that we've seen from the other side of the house is that some of the, the clickiness or the tight knit behavior rubbed them the wrong way. Looking back at all of that, do you feel like how close you were helped you or hurt you in your personal game? Um, it probably hurt me a little bit because at the end of the day, like when I voted for Phaedra, I realized that I put a target on my back. Um, and that was something I was trying to get out there and articulate a, bit, a little bit more. Um, but also to, uh, I try not to get too close as well, but still trust. And that's why the, um, you know, wasn't really shown on the show, but that's why I wanted to save Sheree um, during that vote, because she's very Switzerland and neutral. And I didn't think it would draw too much attention to our group. And I wanted to bring our group together instead of divided the whole group right not just the the peters group right and our group um and you know kind of did a really good job at dividing if that makes sense unintentionally right um my whole point was to try to bring us back together so people aren't going to do what peter just is going through which is possible banishment now you know like wanted that to not be a thought um, and to really go for the traitor. So that was my strategy with even trying to bring the group together and not get it so divided. Um, and I tried to distance myself a little bit more. We talked a little bit about Peter and him turning down becoming a traitor. Um, if you were given that offer, would you have remained a faithful or become a traitor? Well, so that's what I was very confused about. Like, I, I, uh, I thought he was supposed to die like if he refused it, you know? Well, um, let's say that you, it was explained to you. And right. uh, do you oh, no. feel that? That whole time I wanted to be recruited at some point. You did? Like, I thought I was playing a really cool game. You know what I mean? Like be laid back, don't ruffle feathers to the point that people thought I was a traitor. And then I was able to convince them that I wasn't because I really wasn't actually. I thought that would have been a great time for people to recruit me. You know, I had John off my back finally, MJ off my back. Would have been a great time to have recruited me instead of actually Kate even because I was playing it cool and laid back like a traitor, but was convinced and convincing to people that I wasn't. So I actually think it was a bad move to do Kate, to be real. Interesting. So you're from Bling Empire. What is one thing that you took from that experience that you were able to use as a skill in this game? And what's one thing about this game you just could not have been prepared for? By your other reality tv experiences well to answer both at one you can't prepare for this game <laughs> you can't prepare for this game uh because you know in bling empire there's no strategy if that makes sense you know your strategy is just hang out with cool friends and do fun things um tell fun stories here it's hard because it's about the game and if you don't play the game and you don't play it well it can be very challenging and like you don't know what you're going to say if you're suspecting somebody and if that person's really a traitor. So uh, in, in Bling Empire, there's no paranoia, if that makes sense. There's a lot of paranoia here. Uh, there's a lot of like lack of your normality. Like you don't sleep very well because you're so paranoid and you're up late, you know, we're at the castle. Like it's not my home. <laughs> it's a lot of different you know, weird things happening. Um, so there's not much that could prepare you. And by the way, I've never been that great at board games, you know, so it's not like it's that familiar, you know, I was great at card games, like Magic the Gathering, but like, other than that, I'm like, 
There's no sorcerers and spells in this castle. You know, I'm not very good at this. Was there any homework you tried to do to look up like other reality competitions or no? Just went and no, because you know, the thing is, look, the reality competition world's so big that I don't I don't watch any of that stuff normally. So it was really hard. I watched traders so I could get a feel of it, but I didn't know everybody. And like, by the way, traders one like had very different casts, like some were celebrities some were not some came from athletic like i can't watch the whole history of tv and film of celebrities to see who's going to be on there like so i didn't even do watch tv shows but if i was a reality tv junkie like a fan like watching everything i probably would have done better but i'm not so it's like very like i come from like i said i the stuff i watch is more scripted not unscripted you know because that's the world i normally come from even though I'm now an unscripted, but I'm just saying that like, I don't normally watch it that much. Is there anyone from your Bling Empire family that now that you've gone through this, you're like, they would be perfect as either a faithful or a traitor. They should Oh my gosh. Okay, so you want a perfect dynamic duo. You pick Christine Chu and my girlfriend, Devon, because like I said, they take me to murder mysteries and those two kill it, kill it. And the reason why they kill it is because Devon knows intuitively who the traitor is. Christine can explain why, though, you know, Mm -hmm. like so they're like the perfect duo. I love that. So I'm sure that they watched you and your experience on this season. What were their reactions? What did they think about your game? I mean, Devon's reactions was like, oh, my gosh, you look so stupid. I was like, I know. Once in a while, of course, you look stupid. You're like it's made for paranoia and making wrong choices, you know? Um, and then Devon was also just saying, like, I knew those people were traitors right away before I even watched the show. And I was like, I believe you because like she's been right every time. 